Oh. <laughs> I'm back. Um, at the probably the worst time for me, but yeah. Hi. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? Um, I'm just gonna play a little bit of Stalker. I'm feel I'm feeling the itch finally to stream again, and I said I would do. I would do like some impromptu streams this week because I didn't have a schedule you know when I feel like it or whatever but <laughs> then I never did and it's like it's already Saturday for me <laughs> so here we are anyway um, I was just yeah let's play a little stalker and uh, honestly I'll be surprised if anyone shows up because it's been like six days since I streamed but and it's also like Everyone's asleep that I know, so. I don't know, maybe some uh, people will wonder in. Who knows? Uh. <laughs> oh. There goes my phone. Alright, so I got a new phone, by the way. Um, it's pretty fancy. It's got a little bit of a bigger screen. It's got that 5G on it. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Oh, also, it looks like I got some new followers, somehow. Um, since I stopped, like, I haven't streamed for, like, a week. Um, but I have some new follows uh, from Streetwise Rodent. Oh, no, I remember him uh, following on that one uh, stream. Then I had Shuggy23 uh, last week, Remnant1992. Oh, I was just watching you earlier. And uh, Lunara Ara followed me two days ago. Um, interesting. <laughs> I, I was, like, completely inactive two days ago, but thank you regardless. Okay, so those are all marked as red. Let's go. All right, let's see if this works still. <laughs> I haven't actually touched anything in a while. <laughs> hey, it's Terminal. How you doing? How come my how come my shit's not working? Oh, there we go. There we go. Just took a while for for things to show up. Whoa, hold up. There we go. I got a pop up on my app for uh, sound alerts. Interesting. Oh god, I can't see anything. Okay, so. My monitor has this issue. Well, mainly, mainly it's my lighting. Uh, I need to uh, turn my other light on so I can actually see my monitor. Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> a stalker snack and then going to bed. Oh god, I still can't see. Oh, hold on a second. Turn my light down a little bit. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. It's also like nighttime, so... Actually, that's kind of appropriate. What is a stalker snack? Is that the, uh, uh, doctor sausage? Wait, what is this? The beak. Powerful mixture of, of zone-produced vodka and pulverized beak of a black crow. Not every beak can be used as an ingredient because only black male crows that have been lived in the zone for more than 15 years have mutated, mutated sufficiently. Cup of noodles and a little vodka. That's a good snack. Uh, the rumor has it that such beaks contain a form of enriched protein that cleanses moderate amounts of radiation from the body. Some even say that the drinking the beak makes you feel like you have wings for a few seconds. On the downside, however, the taste itself is awful. That reminds me of, like, a, something, um, that, me, that reminds me of some awful drink from that, uh, Always Sunny. What the fuck was it called? But it was the one where they had, like, cr you need, like, crow's eggs or something. Pilk? Was it Pilk? I think so. Well, no, Pilk is Pepsi milk. I know that. It was a different one. Where they're like, you need to put crow's eggs in this. It was like fight juice or something like that. <laughs> I 
Anyway, what was I doing? I have no idea what I was doing. Then again, nobody in the nobody in the zone knows what they're doing. Uh, oh, I have some canned corn. <laughs> Late night in the zone. Hey, Erica, welcome, welcome. I know it's a normal time for you. Oh, eggheads are fighting over there. I have my own egghead. <laughs> He's looking a little sus. Oh my god. So, like, Among Us has been out for a while, of course. Oh, it's 2 a.m. for you? Somehow I got the impression that you were, like, in Russia somewhere, so my bad. <laughs> or at least Eastern Europe. Probably probably just because I met you through Key, so I just kind of assumed. <laughs> you live in Canada? Oh, how can you even see me right now? Um, you must not have Rogers, then. Eastern Europe, it's like 10 a.m. Yeah, it's like a, it'd be a good morning stream for... The last time I played Stalker around this time, I had some uh, random Russians come in and uh, Poles, too. Lucky don't use Rogers. Hell yeah. Okay, what was I... Oh, yeah. My... My batteries. I need more batteries in this thing. There we go. Here, you, you can have this one if you want to pick it up. Did he? Oh, no, he didn't pick it up. I just picked it up again. Get out of here. Debit also broke. Oh, yeah, because their whole, um, like, the whole nation's POS system uses Roger's internet. I heard about that. That is so fucking messed up. Like, Roger's uh, process is, like, most of the uh, card payments, apparently. Okay, so... You know, like I said, it's gonna be a short stream, so... I actually don't want to actually go too long, because it's like, I still want to, um... I still want to hit up uh, Heather's big stream tomorrow. At some point. <laughs> some people couldn't pay their taxes. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. What is a... Man, I haven't even been up here yet on this playthrough. Uh, I haven't been, haven't been north of Zaton at all. Solo Q Pixie. Hello, welcome, welcome. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm a little late. A little late today. Destroy the enemy detachment. Oh, that's an easy one. Uh, oh, the bandits will attack the egghead if I warp in... Or, I say warp. I've been playing too much Elite Dangerous. If I teleport into the bandit base, um, the ecologist will die immediately. <laughs> so, um, as dumb as it is, I'm going to go into this polluted lake south. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll put... Uh, let's see. Put my phone on Wi-Fi here. I got that, you know, I got that 5G on the, on this new phone, but, uh, oh shit. Oh, here we go. <laughs> that was easy. That's the, that's the secret technique. You need another morphine shot. Oh, he must have hit you. That's the secret technique to uh, beating viewers, by the way, is you just knife it. <laughs> it works all. The, it works all the time. That actually works for bloodsuckers too, which is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. Um, if you're if you you have a suit or enough stamina, uh, just chase after the bloodsucker because he won't know how to counter it. Like if a, bl a bloodsucker will come up to you and be like, Ugh. and then um, wait, where am I going here? Hold on a second. Oh, I'm, I gotta go to my right. Uh, so a bloodsucker will show up. He'll do his little roar, and then he'll come towards you. Um, and then 
what you do is you run towards it. And it will freak out because it has this like circling motion it tries to do. And then if it's constantly like if it's constantly being chased, it doesn't know what to do. Alright, let's see if the uh Okay, so this is just a simple mission that I've done like a billion times already. <laughs> they always they always like to come back here. If you encounter a BMP or something, just knife it. Exactly. That actually probably works. Okay. They're always in the same spot. Easy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah, it is thin enough. All right. So there's like probably I heard two more guys. Hey buddy. Oh, I missed. All right. Oh, he he that was it. Okay. I thought I heard two more guys. Oh shit. What the fuck? Where'd they come from? I've never had that happen before. Is that duty? Are they after me? I think I took care of them. What the hell? Am I so infamous now that duty is after me? Oh, there's one more guy. Ouch. That stings. You're making me waste all my 762 ammo. Well, that was military. Okay. Wait. Somebody walking. Oh, that was my friend. Okay. Of course, my ecologist friend is like. kind of them to bring the loot to me. Exactly. The ecologist guy is friendly with everyone, so no one's gonna shoot him. He had a PKM, holy fuck. I'm keeping that. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, yeah, they didn't talk like military. I don't know who they... It is duty. What the hell? They were probably on their way to suck off a sergeant or something. Gonna meet up late at night. They like to do that, you know. They always make jokes about us freedomers, like, Oh, yeah, how was your uh, bloodsucker girlfriend? But <laughs> these guys are the ones sleeping with the military. Another PKM. They're not very good at using those things. Bloodsucker girlfriend. Hey, it's free tentacles. Okay. I think that was... Was that all of them? One, two, three. Yeah, okay. I don't think I even looted this guy. Did I? Oh, no, I didn't. Only like only like uh, only got six rounds left for AP ammo, but uh, don't need any right now. <laughs> Maybe it's none of my business. But what brought you here into the zone, Kelly OC? Um, content, <laughs> anomalous content. <laughs> also, I just feel so at home here. YouTubers in the zone. You know... Okay, I'm gonna disassemble one of these. Then I can get the parts for it. 
and AK-74, you tactical, huh? Uh, disassemble you. Throw you away. Throw this away. YouTubers. <laughs> so, I'm just imagining, um, like, who was it? Who? Who? Which one of the Paul brothers got tr got in trouble in Japan? Was that Logan Paul, the one who was like filming a corpse in the suicide forest? Um, he would totally do this. Oh, um, not, uh, emission time, I guess. Alright, I'll just chill here. Hopefully this place is safe. Urban exploration meets combat footage. <laughs> okay, stay sheltered. Okay, so we can just chill out here for a little bit. We, we, oh, we can watch it. Oh, I can't stay, I can't go too far um, out the windows. Oh, okay, so this is safe. This is not. Wait. Oh, maybe I gotta go back. Wait. Stay sheltered. Okay. Jake Paul pushing friend into a space anomaly gone wrong. <laughs> Prank. 100% real, not clickbait. Mission updated. Find shelter. What? There we go. Okay, we'll just ch ha hang out in the corner. Gone wrong, gone spatial. <clears throat> so I have a funny story, by the way, about um, Logan Paul. So, uh, <laughs> hey Tech. I know, I just did, I'm just doing a little bit of a stream at the, at the middle of the night, it's no big deal. It's only, uh, 1am, I think. <laughs> I just felt like streaming. I was gonna play this anyway, so I figured, like, you know, why not just go live. Um, so anyway, my Logan Paul story. It's not, actually, it's not even really my story, it's my friend's. But, um, okay, hold on. Okay, so anyway, um, so a friend of mine was in Japan for business, um, it was like half business, half, half pleasure, I suppose, but anyway, so he's walking around, um, I think, somewhere in Tokyo, um, but he sees this, like, white dude on the other side of the street, and he's being, like, real loud, he was in some sort of costume, Hold on a second. I can't think when these waves are going by. But anyway, so this guy, he was being real loud. He was in some weird costume thing uh, and like deliberately annoying uh, other people walking down the street. And everyone's like, you know, what the fuck are you doing? You know, uh, trying to get around him and stuff. Anyway, um, like, he comes back home, like, a week later from his trip, and he's like, oh, that was the guy, when he sees that, um, video, uh, that, that he put up, was it Jake Paul or Logan? It doesn't matter, they, they're both annoying, but, um, he sees that video they put up of, of the suicide forest, and he's like, oh, that was the guy who was annoying all the pedestrians on the street. <laughs> I got tools. Okay. Shit, dude, that was a terrible emission. You you okay? You, you're looking kind of dried out a little bit. 
<laughs> oh, wow. I love that highly radioactive rain after an emission. Feels nice. Cools you down a little bit. Oh, Freedom used to control the place before the big emission. When they moved to the army warehouses, bandits took control here. Yeah, they're cool with me. Uh, I don't know about you, though. I don't think they'd like you very much. They'd want your artifacts or whatever. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's just a nice... Hmm. Should I give it to Xenotech or Cardin? I think I'll do Xenotech. I'm gonna fast travel to there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for the little wake up there. Is my is my avatar being kind of chunky right now? It was being a little chunky earlier during the emission, but uh, that's you know that's natural given that the emission kind of messes with communications a little bit. Okay, job is done. Holy fuck! Are you? Oh, I'm friendly with him. I'll let me take your stuff. I guess. I'm friendly with bandits. Here, take that and leave. I don't need this stuff. Are you just gonna kill that dude? Are they gonna do anything? No egghead anymore. The imposter was sus. The, what the hell are you doing? Are they gonna kill him right after I gave him his tools? They're completely failing to kill him. He's like invincible. Dude, he's shooting him point blank with a SVD, and this dude's just sitting there taking it. This is actually hilarious. Should I step in and do something? Wait, I think that... Oh! When I dropped that, that SVD, he took it. That's the, that's the SVD that I dropped. That's hilarious. Okay, so I think Xenotech is invincible, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna fix this problem. Even though I think the, uh... Now I have to kill their whole squad. Well, they'll figure it out. Come on. Yeah, they are they are just bandits. Let's see if they actually just come in. I'm lazy. Oh, here he goes. I think. Come on. You're too slow. You're too slow. I had to go outside and take care of you myself. Oh, there's a bandit up there. That's hilarious. Cheeky <laughs> Okay. I don't need... Oh, I should have used my fancy APS. I love this thing. 
So I got a kit for the APS, by the way. So it's got, um... So, yeah, it's the old-school Soviet machine pistol, but it's got the tactical kit on there. So it's got the threaded barrel, tritium sights, and a ergonomic pistol grip. I don't have the, I don't have the um, suppressor for it yet, though. I have no idea where to find it. I'm just going to find it randomly somewhere. What the hell is this? SR2M Veresk? What the fuck is that? I've never seen this before. Russian submachine gun manufactured by Talkmash. Designed to engage enemy personnel in close combat up to 200 meters using interval body armor. Main. Destructive effect of a bullet at close range. Uses 9 by 21 ammo. 21? Oh, that's that weird Italian shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that actually. That's that's a very rare I've never seen that before. It's not the SR3, it's the SR2M. I've never seen that before. Stetchkin sucks major balls in EFT. Yeah, I I mean it's like, in real life, it's got this, like, you'll find it on some random monolith dude. Yeah, the, the amount of, um, the amount of sheer equipment that the monolith have is kind of incredible. Okay, do you have any more ammo in this thing? Yes, you do. Give me that. Okay, so I have a Saiga UMP. APS and a scar. I'm I'm way over equipped for everything. Spicier Russian pistol round. No, um I remember 9x21 is this weird Italian caliber that they made to get around some sort of weird regulations. Um because they couldn't get 9x19, so they invented 9x21, and they use it in some Italian pistols pretty sure and honestly I'm pretty sure this SR2 probably uses something else in real life but they probably just didn't want to program the ammo into it 9 by 23 which is 38 super yeah but they put in this mod for this mod um, put in 9 by 21 for like a pistol one pistol has that caliber, and I guess they added 9x21 Gearza. Oh, it's a Russian 9x21. I didn't realize they had their own. Interesting. Because the SR3 is easy. That uses 9x39, which is the, the Chad caliber for the real stealthy boys. Okay, what am I doing? I'm just roaming around at this point. Okay, what else did I have on my itinerary here? Um, well, I can turn this mission into Lukash, and I gotta dump my stuff off anyway. Okay. Ooh. Sorry, I gotta. I'm I'm t uh, speaking kind of low just because it's late. So I apologize for the uh, vocal fry. <laughs> For sharpshooters who wanted to do artillery calculations. <laughs> Gopnik 300 blackout. Oh my god. Hey, the job is done. Oh, there's uh, a barrier defense mission. Let's go. Alright. So before that, I'm going to dump my stuff off. Get some more rounds. From Skin Flint. I'm going to keep... That is such an interesting gun. The fire rate is ridiculous on that thing. Okay, so... Put that there. Okay, let's get these parts... Uh, offloaded. All this delicious loot. Should disassemble these. 
I need so many electronic parts for this one mission that uh, Skinflint gave me, where he's like, I need uh, five bear detectors <laughs> and ten lead line containers and blah 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 and ten batteries if they're good. And I'm like, holy shit, you're not paying me nearly enough for this, are you? And he was like, nah. <laughs> so I'm just making it manually. But the um, the process is very slow. Come in, I saw a guy from duty kill a dog. Well, good for them. They can finally... It's the first time I've seen them actually successfully kill the dog. Uh, wait, where'd that suppressor go? Yeah, I don't need these. Uh, where is... Oh yeah, <laughs> let's put the PKM ammo in there. And... Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I've gotten in the habit of keeping all the old ammo and, like, re... Um, refilling it, I guess. Okay, all my tools... Okay, that should be good. Doesn't seem bad on a quick Google. <laughs> Lukash out there, yo, can you get me a chunk of the wish granite or give you 20 bucks? I mean, have you seen what the ruble's worth nowadays? <laughs> what word is blocked? Oh, maybe it showed up on OBS. Oh, Gopnik is blocked? Gopniki specifically? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, because it's it's kind of it's kind of a derogatory term, but I'm not sure how derogatory, to be honest. Okay. Um oh yeah, here buy this. Buy this stuff. I don't want it. And here, have a Maxim magazine, which Ooh, Maxim Magazine. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Imagine coming into the zone with a Maxim. Like, how basic are you, my dude? Okay. Just buy all this stuff. Wait, did I need... No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, yes. And I need ammo for you, uh, it's like hoodlum. Interesting. But yeah, so check out what he has. He has an AK-5C from Sweden. <laughs> and I, I guess that was just added with the, um, that was added with, uh, the boomsticks and sharpsticks update. I guess there was... Yeah, because I, I, I updated this again after, like, a while of not doing that. And they added a bunch of new guns. Okay, so I need... I need more slugs. And I need more 7.62 NATO. Because uh, I'm going to use a lot of that. So I just... I'll take your entire stock. Um, and I have some backup for my APS just in case. Okay. So let's jog on over to, uh, wait a second. Wait, is my stuff repaired? Okay, my stuff's all repaired and ready to go. What is this again? Oh, hell yeah. New drugs. Now I can make diclofenac sodium. Um, okay. I can make cocaine. <laughs> Good news, everyone. I now have the recipe for cocaine. Incredible. Doing coke in the zone. Let's go. You know, sometimes I will, um, sometimes I will pick up, like, if I kill a controller, uh, oh, shit, something's going down out there. If I pick up something from a controller, sometimes he'll have weed on him. 
I think I've seen him. I've, I've seen one carrying coke once, I think. Blow and glow. Okay. So it looks like Monolith is already here, maybe. Because they're Russian over there. Well, even though we're all Ukrainian. Okay. Got anything to sell? Can you come with me? Or are you just going to stand there? Okay, fine. Zamanalitha. <laughs> oh my god, I hate them so much. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try not to keep running because I know there's some anomalies around here. A lot of Starkers come from Belarusia and Russia too. Yeah. And then the, the there's mercenaries who, you know, come from all over. There's even some uh, Americans. Whoa. The scouts say they're on the move right now. Everyone get in position. Okay, let's get my... You're in an angry mood tonight? You want to help me defend the barrier? Mercs are Western spies, it's true. But that's where Freedom gets all our weapons, man. Did, wait, did, he, did one guy just get dropped already? Jesus Christ. Oh, they coming. I saw one. I think one of our guys just got dropped already. I heard him fall over. Oh, shit. Got him. Oh, shit. Okay, do I have any grenades for this? No, I do not. Great. I am so fucked. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Jesus. This is a bad spot. Ow, 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 ow. What if I just tossed grenades? Yeet. Hopefully I didn't just do any friendly fire. Oh my god. How many grenades do I have? Well, none now. Oh, got a good headshot there. Um, another one. Wait, I think I have, I have one more. Okay. Get the fuck out! Oh no, I have another one. RGD five. Yeet again. Okay, is that? Oh, okay. Killing mono guys is free grenades. Yes, it is. Oh. This game actually is uh, quite a bit more difficult without the uh, crosshair in the middle. Just from, like, target identification. I've done a couple friendly fires already. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I say friendly, but I'm more neutral to the mercenaries. Oh, jeez. I guess I can push. Kind of. Oops. <laughs> Charon asked the wish granter for infinite grenades. 
Oh, all those stim packs made me real hungry. Ooh. Wait, where's all my buddies? Are they all dead? Fuck. Oh no, there's a buddy. Okay. Oh, we won, I think. Oh no, don't leave him alive. Oh damn, watch out, they got an RPG. Oh fuck. I, uh, I did not read that quick enough. <laughs> oh no, there is another wave. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Oh, he's got the, the nice one. I'm going to scrounge up some ammo here. Or try. At least give you the money. Okay. Gotta get it for work in five hours. Good night. Oh, thanks for coming in, Terminal. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I gotta fix my hum helmet a little bit. Okay. Just got real quiet. Don't like that. Oh, that has the ammo that I crave. It does not, actually. Oh god, I need to eat. Okay. Let me just... Ooh. I'll hold you guys off with a UMP. I know what I'm doing. Shit. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Oh shit, there's the RPGs. I'm going to run behind a truck. Okay, the RPG guy definitely needs some uh, attention. They will absolutely kill me a lot. I need to get a better point. Oh Jesus. Oh, he blew himself up. Nice. Okay. Yeah, sometimes sometimes they'll blow themselves up like they'll hit a tree in front of them or something. Like that. You see that? It happened again. There we go. That's basically a free kill. Can't see a damn thing. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Oh. Another bandage. Another stim pack. Is that? That's my my buddy right there. Okay. You were shooting through a tree? No, you were behind a rock. Oh! That was a nice hit. 
Oh, my vision's going because I took too many medicine. You started to save as monolith and you just feel bad. It's too easy, isn't it? Especially warfare mode is like too easy with monolith because they're, the spawn rate is ridiculous with those guys. If you're playing as anyone but monolith, you're having a bad time no matter what. That's a big gun you got there, buddy. Oh my god. Okay. He tanked a lot of hits there. Oh, Jesus. We just departed from the base. We'll be there soon. Alright, we got backup coming. Okay. Is it... Is it safe? It's never safe here. I need your money and your ammo and your water. <laughs> oh, there's still more. Jesus. stuck here. That would be a bad idea. Oh my god. Really putting that RPG to work. Oh Jesus. Oh god. Oh shit. Okay, where is RPG man? He's real trigger happy with that thing. What is that? Is that a guy? They're coming. Somewhere. I'm holding my spot. Oh, hey, bud. Thanks for showing up. Okay, he's going to... Just chill. Okay, sure. Maybe the monolith guy blew himself up with that last rocket blast. G36 camouflage. That is an interesting... He had two Saigas. And a revolver. I'll take the revolver. That looks interesting. Okay, so this guy is, like, just hanging out. Because he thinks we're done. But I hear some more fighting over there. Kind of. But I'll keep looting while this is going on. Yeah, they're just hanging out. I feel like there's one guy fighting over there. God, maybe it's Gatekeeper. God, these monolith and their eagles are ridiculous. Another G36 with a grenade launcher on it. Oh. Oh my god. Good job, brothers, and thanks to all the volunteers that didn't run away. Come back for your reward. Of course I will. And I'll take that RPG, too. That son of a bitch. Okay. Wow, he had two RPKs. RPK-16s. Wait, shit. 
I didn't actually want those. I'll take I guess I'll take the parts. Okay. Battery. And I always need the ammo for that KS-23. And what is this? Oh, it's an SA-58. Okay. There are a ton of SA-58s in the zone. Holy crap. Lots of uh, nice ammo selection for me. And a backpack. I'm really glad Monolith anything goes. As long as it's for their big shiny rock. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, what is that? Holy fuck. VSSK is a Russian bullpup straight pull bolt action sniper. Chambered in 12.7 by 55? This was owned by its other name, Viklop. It was developed in 2002 for special units of the SF FSB. Holy fuck. I'm probably too heavy now. VSSK. That is unbelievably stupid looking, but it's probably very powerful. Yeah, look at the uh, accuracy and the damage on that. Holy crap. Where are they getting this stuff? The SSK is my child. Oh yeah, I'm too heavy. Probably have, um, let's get rid of some of these. You know, okay, so the G36 in the vanilla Stalker games was like one of the best 556 five, guns. But for some reason, this mod made the uh, dot sight on this completely worthless. Look at this. You can't see anything. Why? Why can't I flip the sight to have, like, the, the good one? This red dot sucks. Well, it's a green dot, but it sucks. I hate it. Get rid of that shit. They like they this mod like completely ruined the G36. I would like to be able to see out of it. But apparently nobody in the zone cleans their damn sights off. That's my big complaint about about anomaly. Even the vanilla, well, <laughs> vanilla anomaly, I should put I, which is kind of a funny way to It's a funny phrase to me. Um, but is this a uh, 1911? Wow. Video games trying to use FAMAS iron sights. Oh my god. Oh, look at all this money I have now. Holy crap. Oh, now I'm too heavy again. Um, let's get rid of you. Okay. How far can I go before it wants me to change levels? Wait, I hear a rumbling. Is that what I think it is? Oh no, that's the anomaly next to me. Never mind. Um, hmm. Actually, I'll drop these. They can't buy them, and I don't. I don't actually want an RPG. Oh. I wish there was a better way to like grab all the loot. Oh my god. I need that, actually. I also need that. Yeah, I wish there was an easier way to, like, loot stuff. Right? Instead of just doing this clicking. It's still pretty clunky. Well, oh, I automatically equipped this thing. Oh my god, you can't aim out. You can't aim with that at all. Okay, looted him, looted him. Oh, 
tools. Always need tools. And instruction booklets for something. Ooh. Speaking of uh, another gun that had its sights kind of ruined is this one. Um, I don't know what happened to the sights on... Like, the f 2000 in real life is supposed to have really good sights on it. But they don't look that great in-game. You can't get real you can't get a really good accurate shot with those things at all. Oh my god, there's just piles of these monolith troops. Jesus Christ. Okay, I gotta dump some more stuff. Um Actually mm, Revolver can go. What else can go? Uh, let's disassemble some things. Okay, that saved a little bit of space. The patches are pretty easy money, actually. They're worth a fair bit. My god, this guy has a lot of stuff. Oh, I'm full again. God. Access denied. Disassemble. Oh! I hit the Windows key instead of Alt. Oops. Okay, boop. Still too full. Uh, how much does this backpack weigh? Two, it's like not even a kilogram. Um, get rid of. Actually, I need that for a quest. I will toss these foods. Okay, still too heavy. Why don't I eat from bread? And uh, then now I can move. After having some bread. The most valuable thing in the zone must be a wheelbarrow. Yeah, especially because this game, um, this mod, for some reason, they were like, oh, corpse dragging is too easy. Let's make it so you can't do corpse dragging anymore. These batteries are actually kind of heavy. And they're kind of worthless. Another thing this game makes you do is stack all this stuff, like, stupidly. I guess I'll repair shit while I'm here. There we go. Because, like, right, in, like, the first Stalker game, and I, I think all the vanilla ones, you can just, like, fill a corpse up with uh, everything and just drag it to base. Like, it's slow, but you can do it. All right, boys, we did it. So I'm going to head back to base. That was actually a pretty hard fight. It's pretty stressful. Okay. I'm going to run, because I can, for a little bit. Exoskeleton is great. Oh yeah, I want to see what this is like. Oh my god. Oh, that sight is funny. Why does it say 32 on it? For that matter... My scar... Wait, hold on a second. My scar says 34 for some reason. Whoa! Oh shit, what's going on over there? Oh, it's a zombie. There we go. Don't worry, bros, I got you. Huh. What is this? 
<laughs> my phone's like, try secure Wi-Fi. Bitch, I'm at home. Oh, there's still some zombies out there. Oh shit, did they win? Shit. There we go. I'm not gonna bother looting them. I have too much stuff. Wait, they might have money though. Shit. Every little ruble helps. Oh. Maybe I'll get some ammo. Okay. Did they get one of our guys? Hmm. What were they all doing over here? Is there any good ammo for this? Yes. Sweet. Oh, too much. Get rid of the old stuff. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I had a wheelbarrow right now. Or a car or something. Oh my god. I've played some of the mods that have drivable vehicles, and they are all hilariously um, janky. Like, to be honest... Okay, so I played OGSR, and that had the drivable vehicles in it. And, yeah, like, I see why they cut them. Exactly. Because, like, there's this one, uh, that one cut area, the darkscape, um, that, like, nobody likes, uh, that had this, that had, like, a place where you drive, you know? Like, that was meant to, for it to be a drivable area, and you can totally see why. Um, but yeah, it sucks with no, t especially when you can't drive in it. But the fact that there's, like, anomalies on the road, and if your car gets stuck on any of them, you're pretty much dead. Uh, or your car will flip up into space. It's, uh, not a great implementation. I saw a... Uh, I saw footage of this one mod where... Oh, were you going in a hurry? Oh, you stopped and see me at least. You got anything to sell? You got any work? Nope. He's on a mission. Um, but yeah, he, uh, I saw this video of some sort of mod where you could, um, you could drive a, uh, the BTR from the, um, you know that one that's in the Agriprom? There's like a BTR parked there, and this dude just got in and was like, wait, what? He had a knife. Well, I can't harvest anything. Um, yeah, he was driving that around. And I was like, whoa, that's kind of cool. Okay, so... This one has the scope and the suppressor. I will disassemble that one. Because that one has... There we go. I was going to repair the AUG at some point and use that. That's not a mod for the one at the NPP, at least. Oh! Yeah, because that one's actually one of those ones that, like, shoots back. And I think the one in... I think the one in Agriprom shoots back, too, but I can't... I could be mistaken. Okay, first things first, let's get these. I have almost ten metal containers um, let's keep those oh my god there are so many repair kits and other bullshit um, and I all need it all needs to get restacked and blah 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 okay 
This is the this is therapeutic, I suppose. Okay, click click. Oops. I can sell those actually. Da, da, da. Oh hey, it's the uh Pripyat outskirts music, I think. It's it's still like it's still so, sort of odd to me um hearing this music in the army warehouses cuz I'm like, wait, that's not supposed to play here. Because you're supposed to be, uh, <laughs> you think it's in Clear Sky? No. Maybe. I think they reused tracks for, uh, certain songs. Or, for certain games, I mean. They definitely reused some of the ambience. Because when I hear this, I think of, um, what's-his-face? Uh, Colonel Kowalski. <laughs> bitching about, oh, we're so fucked, oh shit, oh shit. Help us, uh, help us, Major Degtirov. We can't do anything. <laughs> okay, let's sell some of this good stuff here. Oh, he doesn't want the backpack because it's too damaged. I'll just give it to him. Oh my god, there's so much ammo here. I think that's all the ammo I want to sell. Let's sell these IEDs in this mine. Hmm. Oh. Oh yeah, you can get the dog meat too here. I could sell the medicine to the guy, to the medic, but I think I'll just sell it to you because I'm lazy. Especially because right now, I'm looking at 234,000 rubles, which, you know, I don't know how much that is, but it could probably buy me uh, something. In fact, Let's see. How much does your Nusserog suit cost? 254. I can actually almost buy this thing. And this is like the supreme overlord um, tank outfit. <laughs> Next generation exoskeleton consisting of a doubly reinforced exosuit and an armored check M10 gas mask. The suit is rumored to have been the brainchild of a now deceased stalker named Fang. Not uh, Rip Fang whose designs were later claimed by all sorts of powerful factions across the zone. If regular exoskeletons allow stalkers to feel like a light vehicle, the juggernaut al almost makes them believe they're a main battle tank, able to withstand incredible punishment while carrying tremendous ordnance. Typically only available to a faction's most valuable members, that's me. And even then, only during exceptionally dangerous missions. Hmm. Of course, I could be a Chad and go with the Seva suit. <laughs> but like look how look how much um like bullet resistance I have versus that holy crap yeah exceptionally dangerous missions <laughs> I will proceed to knife this helicopter I I mean I actually I'm about to do that I think did I accept that mission from Lukash, where he's like, hey, can you go kill these tanks again? Oh no, I didn't take it. Okay, did I, did I sell everything that I wanted? I'll sell you some tape. Okay, so... I can almost afford this, like, the supreme... 
um, <laughs> tank outfit. Excited. Just gotta do a couple more dangerous but well paid missions. <laughs> oh, hey. You need something? Got anything to sell? Oh, you bought that Maxim from Skinflint? You fucking. You got scammed, bro. There's nothing good in there. Any, any work you want done? Duty faction patch. Sure. I'll find some duty faction patches for you. I know they're always lurking around. Wheelbarrow with ERA tapped at the front. Oh my god. Okay, so... I mean, I could save up for the Nussarug suit, or I could... Um, do I have... I could upgrade my normal exoskeleton, but... That will take up a good chunk of my money. Contact 5 chest rig. <laughs> oh no, I'm up to... Uh, contact 12, I think. Wait, how much, what's contact up to now? I know it means something else. But when I think of contact spelled like that, I think of um, that big uh, native instruments instrument bundle thing. Contact six. Yeah, it's it's up to contact six. I was thinking of complete, not contact. I'm dumb. You can stop an RPG run, but the armor will kill you. Oh, jeez. Contact 5 is ERA on T80U and T72B3. Okay. The barrier is safe for now. I got some 12.7 rounds. So I, uh, a cannabis joint. A 762 ball rounds. He only gave me 6 rounds of each? But 40,000 rubles. Oh my god. Needs a SIG and another Zone Raker mission. Anything else? Military faction patch. Do you have explosives? Okay, I'll kill the Rostock guy. Oh, by the way, so speaking of tanks, I showed another guy the, um, this tank. Um,. Because uh, there's another one of my friends who's like a tank nerd, right? So I showed him this tank. Because for some reason, every time a, a tank nerd sees this, they like flip the fuck out and they're like, wait. Like the more they look at it, the more they hate the thing. And I'm, I don't know why, but I love showing it to people because it's really funny watching them react to it. I can get on top. I wish it worked. <laughs> but it was like this when I got here. It's worse on top. <laughs> Artist's impression of a tank. Yeah, I, th I think it's like... If you put Russian tank into that Dali Mini... Uh, generator, it'll it'll spit this out. <laughs> okay, so I now have 279,000 rubles, which means I can actually buy the chat armor. So I'm going to do that right now. Oh, baby. And I'm gonna sell this too, so I can make some of that money back. Boom. Boom. I still have 54,000 rubles. Let's fucking go.
Oh, I am so badass right now. Oh, I need to run. Uh, I can't run, though. <laughs> Not yet. Now I'm, pr I'm practically invincible now. Do you want to follow me yet? Oh, no, you don't. You don't want to follow the guy with the Nusserog suit? Crazy. You should be on your knees begging to co come with me to the Red Forest. Hey, Stalker, чем пожаловал? Every time he says that, I can't remember, I, I, I don't know exactly what he's saying, but I hear LOL every time he says that. Oh yeah, I gotta put my... Gotta put my artifacts back on. Wait, what did I have again? I have... This thing adds even more resistance to gun. Um, electrical res is terrible, though. Uh, this one has bleeding control. But it's kind of a crappy bleeding control. So I need to go artifact hunting again. But first, I need your vice. So the funny thing is, since I've helped him out so much, okay, let's see. Hydraulic servo, oh, I need to do the advanced one for this. Okay, since I've helped him out so much, he's like, here, just take, uh, have, have, have my vice for free, it's okay. Oh. Hell yeah. Easy peasy. Now I can run. I, I knew there was a reason I kept that kit around. Oh, I have a cannabis joint. <laughs> I love that. I love how it just says cannabis joint. Like, it's so matter of fact. Okay, I had something else. Oh yeah, I'm putting this in my sack here. Um... There was something else I was going to do. Why do I have all these helmets? What the hell am I doing with these helmets? Can I... S oh. Oh. Can I just, like, sell these to you? No. They're too damaged, so I'm just going to get rid of them. Um, let's see. I was going to do something, but I can't remember. Oh. Oh yeah, this SR2M thing. Um, but what else was there? Oh, oh, right. Heart of the Oasis. Hmm. I will have zero... I have no electrical res whatsoever. But it'll give me health restoration... Stamina recovery and bleeding control. But I'll have... Oh, the psychic res is not great. If I get hit with a controller once, I will probably kill myself. In-game. In-game. Just in case the Twitch mod is watching. That's probably gonna DMCA me right there. Fucking playing gorillas on the stereo. I'm gonna get out of here. By the way, here's my radio, everybody. This is how I uh, broadcast to you right now. <laughs> it's uh, not much to look at, but it works. It um, interfaces with the uh, the Duga radio tower, which um, is currently turned off. I will get Pepsi'd by Comrade right? Controller. Oh my god. Okay, there was one more mission I was going to do. What was it? Deal with the problematic stalker. How problematic are we talking here? Freedom member has converted to... Monolith. That's not good. Oh! This is the one I was going to do. Okay, so... Right. So... This was, okay, so in Outskirts, I'm doing a Retrieve PDA for Beard. Pepsi Man. 
So I'm gonna start at the laundromat. Actually, let me check my ammo real quick. Wow, that sucks. Right. I forgot I have to stow some of this ammo away. Hey, Stalker, jump on Streaming on an R311. <laughs> Wait, you know what radio that is? Incredible. No. Just making sure I have everything squared away here. All right. One thing I gotta do first. It's the only Soviet radio that came to mind. I'm gonna take a dip in here. Enjoy my cannabis joint. In game, Twitch mods. In in game. Ah, nice. Okay. So, right, I need more rounds for almost everything. Oh, I don't need that actually. My, I have my KS twenty three in here somewhere. Where did it go? Oh, right here it is. But. How much ammo do I have for the thing? Because... Oh, I got 12 shots for it. But I think the Saiga will be more useful. Because I actually can, like, find ammo for the thing. Like, I love the KS-23, but goddamn is it hard to find ammo for the thing. Okay, so I have a SR-2M and an SR-3M. I'd rather repair the SR-3M, because it's way, way better. It's probably, like, as far as the options go for all the 9x39 caliber guns, um, it's definitely the best one, for sure. Because it has good rounds, you can put different scopes on it, Um, fire rate is still pretty good. Yeah, VSS is always a fan favorite. There's a couple different flavors of Vintores. Hold on a second. I'll show you. We'll go into the debug menu. Wait, what the heck? AK5C ISG. AK5C ISG Special. Oh, that looks like a bastard of a kit. Scopes installed, Leopold, Leopold Devo X6, and LA5 laser aim module. Low profile foregrip, LA5 lamb. Leopold scopes, short barrel, irreversible upgrade. That is like... That's not even an AR-15, but it looks like an AR-15 that someone just like bought a, what, whatever the cheapest parts are that he could find. And didn't care about matching anything. What is this? AK-12 Monolith Upgraded. That's probably really good. There's so many things I haven't seen, actually. I never took a good look. What the fuck? The fuck is that? Developed in Israel by Command Arms Accessories, the AK Alpha Assault Rifle was first presented to the public in 2016. That's like brand new. Apparently this weapon got into the zone with the ISG, with the the ISG function, fu function. AK Alpha assault rifle is an attempt to improve the ergonomics of the AK. Wow. That is, what the hell is that? I've never seen that before. I didn't know it looked like that. Um, the AK Alpha is in Girl's Frontline though, and she's very cute. I, but I never actually looked at the gun she was holding. I don't think that's the same one. One of the guns from 2019, which means it's from the future. <laughs> like, does this does this game take place in 2020? Uh, does this game take place in 2022, or does it like just not say? Because I know, um, I know the first game was like. 
2012 was when it took place. Stalker Anomaly is 2018. Okay, so we're permanently stuck in four years ago. FN Scar H, Specialist Operator. Oh, I spent so long looking at these guns. I was like, you know, I was scrolling down going like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and two is 2020. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. So we got the AS Val. The AS Val Modern. AS Val Tactic. VSS Venturas. That's the uh, iconic one right there from Scar. VSS Venturas with a scope on it. VSS Venturas alternate. Rifle Dynamics RD 9x39 ISG, which is a Venturas with a bunch of crap on it. VSS Savant. ASVL is good. I've never found one, though. Really? There's VSS Venturas. Another one. There's a bunch of these. VSS Merc. Ooh, excuse me. I guess it is pretty late. Um, and then there's the Venturas Tide, which you get from Nimble. Uh, this one is amazing. Premium DLC Venturas. Yeah, I'm looking where I'm not supposed to go. VSK-94 is kind of interesting. There's the XM-8, which I don't think any traders sell this. You have to, you have to debug this in. VSK-94 is the VSS we have at home. And then there's the 9A91, which is actually, which is actually pretty bad. Oh, you can get the X8 from ISG. Interesting. I was going to do, I was going to do a um, ISG run when I finished the quests for this. Like, when I finished the main quests um, again, I was going to do another ISG run. These are some strange weapons. Oh, there's the Ash 12.7. That one's pretty cool, actually. I'm glad we have something to do while waiting for this blow-up to finish. So the VSK-94, they actually, um, for like, reading gun magazines while the world ends, exactly. Uh, and I can tell you about the other game I play, Girls Frontline, which is uh, a fantastic gotcha game where every girl is a gun and she's holding herself in her, she, she's holding her gun in her hands, but she's named after the gun. So VSK-94 is like an ex-cop with gigantic boobs <laughs> and apparently is also a very um, unashamed Shotokan. Springfield. Yeah, Springfield is great. She's like primo waifu material. I'll show you my waifu. Hold on a second. My raifu, I suppose. Uh, where is it? I don't think the L96 is actually in GFL. Interesting. Wait, where did it go? Oh, here it is. There she is. SV98, my beloved. <laughs> so actually, the funny thing is, in this game, um, the SV98, the SV98 is actually really good. It's super accurate and hits hard. Um, it's bolt action. But I've pulled off some amazing long-range shots with this thing. 
it's super accurate and very reliable. Okay. So anyway, that's done with. Oh, the... The girls' frontline anime. Okay, so... Oh, where do I start? Um, it came out, it aired, it, it finished. And... Well... I... I okay. It's complicated. At first... The first couple episodes were really, really rough. Um, there was animation inconsistencies, errors everywhere. There was actually some memes about M4's uh, M4 where, like, I swear every episode it was drawn wrong at some point, and people were making, like, real-life mock-ups of the cursed M4A1 designs. <laughs> Um, there's one where the, the foregrip became a magazine, for example. Um, but, but, okay, so there was weird animation inconsistencies, the pacing was kind of weird, didn't really work, but, and, like, you know, most people gave it up at that point, but I kept going because I wanted to support, um, this this game right because I, I love girls frontline it's like one of my favorite games got gotcha games ever um, because it's the only thing that's really a spiritual successor to con Um but anyway where was I so later on in the series because there's only like 13 episodes 12 or 13 episodes um, but later on in the show I think it got much much better after episode five. Um, fully semi-straight pull bolt action and a bullpup. I think it was drawn as a bullpup at some point. But anyway, I feel like after episode five, like they got a different team to come in or something because the animation improved drastically. Um, it's almost like they were going to have people work on it in the studio from their A-team, but only after the other thing they were working on finished. So, so the animation improved dramatically after 5, and so did the direction, even. If AK-47 or RPK are in it, RPK is pretty far out. So, this is the manga... The, there's the Girls Frontline manga came out already. It's already done, I think. Maybe it's still ongoing? I don't know. But I need to start reading it, because the series was based on that. Um, RBK is much, much further along in the story. Uh, so she's not there. Um, it's basically... It covers the events of, like, the first two chapters of a game. So it's not very far. Um, it covers up to um, the whole thing with uh, AR-15 and her whole character arc. Um, and then it just kind of, it kind of ends suddenly. Well, it doesn't end suddenly, but it has this cool ending to it. I liked it. Um, and yeah, like the... Is that a friendly or no? I'm gonna sneaky bricky up there. Uh, I don't think I saw AK-47. But, okay, so... The way the manga was written, apparently, uh, cause I haven't read it. Um, there's, there's actually a commander in there. And it's like, the main character is this commander, Jantian. Um... And she's very cute. I liked her. Um, but anyway, what was I saying? So there's other commanders, too, that show up later on. Uh, and that's where the show really starts going, in my opinion. Because there's this one guy... Well, it's, is, it, is that a friendly? That's dutier. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Anyway. 
What was this? Is it an AK-12? RPK. Another RPK. This the zone is drowning in RPK machine guns. This is fun. I like RPKs. But anyway, um, so there's other commanders in the show. Um, one of them is like the useless logistics guy. You don't really see him much. But there's another one who's like, he's the Korean guy. And he is the whale. <laughs> because he has all the, like, he's the one who has all the five-star T-dolls. And he's got all the bikini posters up in his commander room. And I, I looked at all the posters, I was like, oh my god, really? They just put them, they're, they're like from the game, straight up. It's great. Um, so the Korean guy was great. Uh, there's also, there's also the, um, Russian guy who has only Russian T-Dolls. <laughs> and like, uh, what's that one, what's that one Russian machine gun? It's not PKM or PK. He didn't have them, but he had this other one. It was like a Soviet era, like a World War II era, um, Russian machine gun. Oh yeah, Papasha was there too, actually. She was... RPD? Oh shit, there's a fight going on. Actually, let me look, actually. I can't remember which one it is. But yeah, she was the one with the... No, not her. She was the one with the gigantic tits and, like, the white um, Ushanka hat. Yeah, DP-28, that was her, I think. <laughs> but he had a lot of her, and then he had... Um, he had a couple others. It was so funny. Yeah, all these commanders have their different quirks and everything. The pizza gun. But, um... Yeah, you know, like, it was... This man is me. Where's the fighting? Did I miss it already? Anyway. Oh, yeah, I was gonna teleport. Duh. Okay. Uh, let's go to the laundromat. So, anyway, what was I saying? Um, so, yeah, the anime had its problems. I'm not gonna lie. But... I stuck with it out of pure stubbornness and I ended up really liking it. Uh, I think it had a great finish. It did not have a good uh, good start, but it did have a strong finish, I think. So totally worth it. Now, <laughs> may give it a watch, sounds like how Snafu is. What's a uh, Snafu? Beginning kind of trash, rest good. Hey, it's Uncle Yar. Thanks for, uh, hey, Yar, thanks for, um, doing all those automated messages in my chat room. I really appreciate it. What do you got? Hmm. Oh, I don't need the thread. I can just get rid of that. Kenning trying to crash yesterday. You know, no, привет. my high school romantic comedy snafu is its name. Oh, I think I've I may have heard of that. I don't know. I don't actually I don't actually watch a lot of anime. But like Girls Frontline, I had a vested interest in for sure. Um, what? Yeah. Okay, so I gotta go that way. Wait, can I go up this ladder? What? I can clearly grab onto it, but I can't. <laughs> Every time you sit down to watch anime, you play video games. Uh, yeah, or or do what I do and watch VTubers. Hey, zombie. Can I hit you from here? Fuck.
Is your friend coming out too? Yeah, there he is. Shit. Wow, I'm a bad shot with a scar. I need a better scope for this thing. Because this um, ACOG scope is not doing the trick. It's not even technically an ACOG scope. Like, it doesn't look like one. If I put this same scope on a different gun, it'll show up with the, uh, the more familiar ACOG um, crosshair on it. Oh! A zombie actually surprised me. Love to watch Kobayashi, but VTubers be streaming and games need playing. Oh, Kobayashi uh, is fantastic. I need to watch the um, second season of it. But the first season I loved, honestly. What was that? You cosplayed as Toru? Hell yeah. I had a lot of, uh, a lot of my friends, uh, were watching Maid Dragon, cause they were like, hooray Yuri, you know. And it's, you know, it's high quality Yuri right there, but, like, you know, a lot of my friends kind of, oh, shit. Hold on, this, this conversation will have to stop for a little bit. I did not hear a good noise. Where the fuck is he? I'm going inside. He better not be inside. He's inside. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that was the only one. Okay, let me let me make sure this place is clear. Jesus. <laughs> it started moving again and I I twitched and shot him. Now these are good parts I can sell to to um, Sekarov. He pays a shit ton for those claws. Wait, does a what? Uh, there was a pseudo giant in here. Did I kill him too? Or did they kill each other? Well, the chimera did. Does, does the, do the chimeras attack pseudo giants? Because I'm pretty sure that shotgun volley did not. Kill both. There's no way. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so I think the coast is clear. Okay, I think the coast is clear. Maybe. Make sure that's not a person. I'm pretty sure I cleaned out... So... Over in this hospital, I found an ISG squad. I thought it was Monolith at first. Then I was like, oh, wait... Your camo is a little different. Anyway, what was I saying? So, Maid Dragon. Uh, a lot of my friends are, let's say, a little more sensitive when it comes to certain topics. <laughs> but, okay, so when uh, we were all watching it together, having a good time, and then uh, Lukoa showed up and became very fascinated with Shota. The character Shoda, but also, you know, Shoda. <laughs> and a, a lot of my friends dropped it because they're like, wow, that's fucking gross. And you know what? That's fine to have that opinion. That's fine. I don't mind. I kept watching, though. Anime be anime. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of anime where 
it's mostly normal, and then it'll have, you know, stuff like that, where you rem it makes you remember that this was made in Japan. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, anime do be like that sometimes. Hmm. I'm gonna switch to my AP rounds, just in case. But then... Um, okay, so then, finally, people did some digging and discovered... Oh, that was not good. Oh, the monolith are there. Oh, shit. Uh, so they discovered the artist for Maid Dragon um, and all their other work. Which is not really hidden at all, but they, they just never thought to check, I suppose. A window into a strange culture where tank combat is appropriate for high schoolers. Oh my god. I know a lot of people who are, like... I have a couple friends, especially, who are, like, really, really into girls in Panzer. I watched the movie with them, but I never saw the show. I saw a monolith guy. Where is he? Well, I'll just push, I suppose. There's no there's no cover anywhere. Your favorite character doesn't even have a name? What? Is she just like a silent recurring character or something? Where the fuck are anybody? Where is everybody? I saw like three or four people over here. I'm trying to be sneaky breaky about it. She is called Mauko because she's the commander of the mouse. Ash is in the manga but never gets a name. Manga. I still say manga when I don't think about it. Because I'm American. And I read manga and anime. Manga. But like, yeah. I know it's manga. But sometimes I just, you know, I forget. I had one of, I had a, uh, well, she was a friend, but she, uh, I had a friend who was very particular about Japanese pronunciation, so she would be like, actually it's manga, and I'm like, okay, sure. And then I would say manga just to piss her off. I'm glad I got through that phase relatively quickly. Where the fuck? Oh, there, there's one of them. Fuck! Okay, there we go. I know there's a monolith around here somewhere. He'd fight them. Good. She needed to get into more fights. She did punch a guy once who uh, called the cops on her and then she got put in jail for the weekend. That was pretty funny. Well, for me, not for her. Oh, shit! Jump scared. I knew he, he was there. Shit, I'm getting out of here. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? So... Switching to slugs. So, I joked once that I'd be like, you know, I'll pay you, I'll pay you to, like, punch him again, because that was funny as hell. She was like, she was, she got very cross with me. Ow! 
That one hit me. That wasn't very cash money of the zone to hit me specifically. I wish that would hit the other people and do damage. Maybe I can sneaky breaky in the corner here. Sometimes this works. They'll come out looking for me over there. And I'll be in the corner. And I can just get him from behind. I don't think they're taking the bait, though. Riverport. But yeah, she didn't take jokes like that very seriously. Or no, she took them too seriously. I mean, the opposite. Sorry, it's like 2 a.m. Oh, I can go up. Right. Oh, they found me. Oh, they found me. They're gonna throw grenades up here, aren't they? Oh, got one of them. That was a good shot. I'm in my fancy Nusarog suit. Oh, Jesus. And I can tank them if I please. That still hurts, though. hit the ceiling. The roof. There we go. <laughs> Fuck. I heard... I heard one of them get dropped. Wait, was there a guy down there? Oh! Why are you such a good shot? The pain lets you know you're not dead. I must embrace pain and use it as fuel for my journey. What is that saying from? I forget. I think I got that from Tribes Ascend. Holy shit. It's been a while since I thought about that game. Is that everybody? Oh wow. Look at that shitty river. Actually, isn't isn't Belarus across the river? Isn't that Belarus like right there? I think that is. Okay, so I dropped like the three zombies that were bunched up here. A bunch of monolith over there. Um, just in case. I know every time I find monolith, there's always one guy left and he does not make a single sound. Unless... Oh. There's still some zombies left, I guess. Let's see. Come on, dart rounds, do your thing. Let's 
It's a bit further north. Ooh. That's a long boy. MP133. Very nice. That's probably a pretty good hunting shotgun. Okay. You can probably see the border from the roof of the NPP. Okay. But then remember, too, the map of the zone in uh, Stalker is, like, weird. It's, like, reversed. Because the, the power plant's supposed to be, like, south of Pripyat. But on the map, it's, like, north. Is this the stash? It's not a stash at all. Okay. Oh, how am I bandwidth holding up? Oh. I'm in red territory. Well, it's probably fine. I was about to stop anyway. Ooh. I could use this instead of the APS. That would probably be way better. <laughs> but having the APS is so nice. It's so gimmicky. G3? I'll take that. I'll take the ammo out of it. There's no ammo in it. Because why would there be? Uh, okay, I think that was everybody. Where is... Oh, no, there was a guy on the roof, I remember now. Okay, so where is this stash? Wait, there's ecologists over there? Interesting. Oh, there was a guy here. Oh, here it is. The 9x21 Sergiukov SR1 MP Gearza. And it has that weird 9x21 ammo. It's kind of interesting that there's a 9x21 in Italy and Russia. And they're both, I guess, different enough. I gotta figure out which stash this is. I'm gonna check down here first. Actually, I didn't see anything. <laughs> is that is that an Ame emote? Wait, hold up. Watson for dead. Channel Watson Amelia Hololevian. Is that her Twitch channel? Does she have a Twitch channel? I didn't know that. Oh wow, look at the sun the sunbeams coming in through the, the window. That's very nice. I guess it would make sense that she would have a Twitch channel. I've noticed a lot of the company VTubers from Niji Sanji and Hololive coming over to Twitch. Probably to like diversify their content or whatever, but um Oh, shotgun repair kit. But I, I've, uh, I watch uh, Pikami on Twitch sometimes, and then I watch Mika Maletica from Niji Sanji. They are so good. One of the nice things with the EFP mod is you can have a sidearm and two guns. Oh, interesting. So the inventory is a little different? Because I know there's this slot here, which I can't use, but I can put it here. So, there is that. So I can have this, if I need it. But then I don't think I can use the quick melee. Wait, no, I still can. Holy shit. That's incredible. Oh, I'm, I'm yellow hungry. Hold on a second. 
me eat some of that and take some water. Okay. 9 by 21 but cooler. Yeah, look at this. So I have I have now I have three. I I forgot that I could do that until you just mentioned it. Okay, where is this damn thing? Beard has a PDA stashed away that could contain some dirt on Owl. But where? Is it for the Bubba Bot? Um, no, I think that's actually just called Bubba, like the Bubba Bot channel. Whoa. <laughs> that was interesting. Whoa. Ow. But it would, it would make sense that she would try streaming on Twitch. Or at least have it, like, have a name, uh... What's the word? Claimed, I guess? Just in case. Ouch. You know what was kind of amazing? I think I've said this a couple times already on my channel before, but, uh... One of the new Phase Connect girls... Um, was named, like... I can't remember her full name, but her name is Yuri something. But she was able to manage to claim twitch.tv slash Yuri. Like, how? What if there was someone else using the Yuri handle? But it was honestly probably unused for a long time because it's just a, it's a four letter word. And like, you know, the bot's got to camp those pretty easily. Where is this? I always only use Twitch or karaoke a couple times, and I have way for 3D hands around, but only the hands. Yeah, I haven't watched... I've, I've been watching Hollow Live a little more lately, but... Wait, what? What is going on with my hands? You see this? What is going on with my hands? Oh, shit. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. What is going on with my hands here? What the heck? Like, I have a... I have a... Wait. What the heck? That was interesting. That was a weird bug, but okay. Okay, I gotta find this stash real quick. Where the hell is it? Okay, it's like right in front of me somewhere. Let me see. Is it in the bathroom? Is it in the toilet? The squat toilet? I didn't know, um, the Yuri Gagarin channel. <laughs> the cosmonaut fandom is dying. RT if you love Yuri. I seriously have no idea where the stash is. It's like right- I'm like right on top of it. It must be over- it must be on the roof, right? Yeah, she was able to nab Yuri. Probably, like, probably being in a company probably had an, they like, probably had enough pull to like contact Twitch and be like, "Hey, we got like a big streamer coming your way. Can you like give us this URL? Because this user has not been online in ten years." Is <laughs> probably how that went. Seriously, it's where is this thing? I can't zoom in any more than I am. It's like right to my right somewhere. So it's gotta be it's gotta be up there. But I was just up here and I didn't see that. You hate those? What's those, Yuri? 
Wait. Like my queen? What? The hell? Where is this stash? Oh, pfft. it's right there. Oh my god. It was like hidden in plain sight. Holy crap. Oh fuck. It took me so long they came back. Well, thankfully I'm up here in a defensible position. Kind of. Bah! I don't even see where he's shooting from. Oh, the squat toilets. Jesus. Oh, they're over here. Oh god. It's like the ending to Call of Duty all, all over again. I'm being surrounded by Monolith. I'm... And, like, right there, too, was, like, the end... Wait. One of the squares around here was, like, where the ending to Call of Pripyat was. Oh, Jesus. They're converging on my position. Oh, there he is. Okay. One down. <laughs> the squat toilets. Thankfully, I've never had to use a squat toilet. Oh, wow. I had, I hit him through the bush. Ow! Oh my god. Oh, they got my helmet! I got an ouchie on my helmet. 93%. There we go. The ouchie is gone. Wait, did I get all the ammo out of this thing? Yeah, I did. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to jump down. Screw it. So there's a funny thing about this. Uh, this current song, I think. Um, it's one that the mod added. Uh, apparently, if I put this on YouTube, it'll get a copyright claim. Oh, hey, there's a VSS Vintores. Uh, it'll get a copyright claim from this the guy who made this ambient track. Except I'm positive I've played... I've played it before on stream and like nobody said anything oh geez I don't want to be stuck in outskirts with over encumbered it's squatting training oh yeah I get that must be why everyone knows how to squat it's like ingrained in their DNA Oh, that just made me way heavier. That's funny. I took the um, I took the PDA apart for parts, and uh, it now I now weigh more than I was before. I'm just gonna eat some of this. Is that good enough? No. How much does this meat weigh? 0.2 uh, kilograms. What else is heavy? 0.2 kilograms, get rid of that. Um, optical scopes mounting set, basic. Don't need that. Okay. Because, like, honestly... 
if I need scopes on a on a gun, I can probably just pay for it myself. It's why I am thick. Good. Yeah. Yeah, that was the thing, like, I never really thought about it before, but I never really thought of Russians as, like, squat toilet users, but I guess... Uh, probably not anymore. Um... Because my first introduction to squat toilets was Japan. But also, like... You know, Japan also got a lot of things from Russia, too. So that kind of makes sense. And of course, you know... I'm sure Russia and Japan both... Well, I know Japan does, but, like, they have mo more modern toilets now. <laughs> anyway, we're back at the Skadovsk. I'm excited. Gonna say hi to Beard. My homie. Hello, no, my dude. The job is done. He only paid me 5800 for that. And two things of vodka. I'm selling you the vodka back, you cheap piece of shit. And these monster parts. And this, ooh. No, I'm keeping these for Sakharov. And the Chimera, oh, I got a Chimera heart. It's not in houses. Yeah, I figured. The thing in, um, the thing is, uh, in America, uh, you have, in the, in the really, really cost-cutting places, like, let's see, like camping areas and parks, uh, you'll often see, like, a trough, it's just a trough for guys to pee in. <laughs> or those metal toilets that are like cold to the touch. The oh, the those are really wake you up when you're camping at a campsite. Anyway, let's sell some stuff to Owl here. Let's see. Eh, you can have the, the KS-23 ammo, I don't care. Oh. He doesn't he's too good for the uh old ammo though. That picky piece of shit. Okay. Um yeah, take this too. And You don't know how people stand up and pee? That, yeah, that's the thing, is like... I've, I've seen uh, some conversations between uh, women and men um, who have never experienced each other's bathrooms before going like... The big one, the funny one recently, I was watching some people going back and forth about this. Wait, I'm still heavy, what the heck? What's making me so damn heavy? The hammer? No. Actually... I think it might be all these mutant parts. Oh, excuse me. Might be all these mutant parts. So anyway, what was I saying? Exterminate the monolith convert. Oh, that's Le Mans. I don't want to go there. Uh, I want to go to Sakharov. Um, but the the woman was uh, aghast at the idea that men don't like wipe off after using the urinal. And I thought that was fucking hilarious. Oh, there we go. She's like, so how do you... 
like, how do you wipe? Or, like, where do you wipe? Do you clean it off in the sink or something? And uh, the guy's like, no, we don't do anything. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> but, like, if you do it right, you don't get dirty, though, is the thing. Okay, where's... Okay, I found this funny bug with, with, uh... Sakharov. Okay, let me try that again. But I'll go back. There's this really funny bug with Sakharov now. I don't know when he started doing this, but like, check this out. You see how he's walking? You see that shuffle that he does? That's incredible. Okay, do you have any work you want done? Do you have... Oh, Chimera Claw. I just happen to have one of those in my little box right here. He's doing the little shuffle. It's so adorable. I don't know why he does this now. Getting 1750 for a Chimera Claw. Any other work you want done? Jellyfish artifact. No. But yeah, so I keep a little thing of mutant parts over here in this chest. Um, just in case he um, wants some parts. And it's usually the rare stuff. And like, it is, right? Look at him. Look at this. <laughs> He's doing like a little scoot. Sekarov, I swear to God, He's like the best character in this whole game. Cause he will, he will, wait, what? Oh, meet with Olivius. Okay, that's the, he will hook you up with some serious rubles um, for selling him monster parts. And he pays full price for artifacts too. So yeah, he's, he's your main source of making money. Also the, um, the other guy, Professor Herman, up in uh, Jupiter. Whoa. Oh, right. Ah, there's an artifact in here. Metal. Oh, it's just a. It's kind of a useless one though. But I'll just sell this one to Skinflint. Um. But yeah, uh, the the Colin just pay so well for like everything. Uh, must be all that state money that they have. But like, if you if you want to make bank, just be an ecologist. <laughs> Especially all the ecologists that I've run into so far. Um, most of them have been kind of chads, to be honest. Like, it takes some serious guts to walk around. Um, in rubber suits in a place where a chimera can jump out at any moment. Oh, I have nine monolith patches. I wonder if he has any jobs. Oh, <laughs> he does not. Finish the task I gave you and then we can talk. I'll just sell the patches. And... The duty patch. Wait. Oh, no, I need duty patches for that one guy. And I need more NATO ammo. Do you have any? He has a little bit. Mad science subsidies. Yeah, exactly. Because the government's probably like, oh, man. Physics-defying secrets in the zone? Let's get them. I'm gonna sell the crappy 9x18. I don't need it. Um, that's the thing with this this suit. This suit is much, much better than the exoskeleton, with the exception of the um, carry capacity is not so great. Because I'm carrying like 20 kilograms of plate armor, basically. Oh yeah, let me uh, dump a more stuff off. Hup. However, I could say screw it and just run a PKM 
and kill everything with just that. Until I find a PKP, which I don't think... Does that exist in this game? Hold on a second. Um, miscellaneous, maybe? Maybe it is just under rifle. Let's see. Yeah, PKM. Zulu's PKM. PKP, Pechenig. RPD. RPK. Okay, so PKP is in the game somewhere. We did not cure cancer, but we did figure out how to make it infinitely bigger. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, right. I'm gonna put these parts. Do, 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 do. Do. Okay. Parts. Big fan of the shotgun repair kit. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. So I think I'm going to call it there, actually. Because it's almost 3 a.m. for me. Actually, it may have just passed over to 3 a.m. Um, make sure I save again. Okay, there we go. What'll be really funny for me is if there's someone on right now that I can raid. Uh, oh yeah, it just hit 3 a.m. for me. So, hup. Nope, not yet. Still wanted to talk a little bit. Just to do shoutouts. <clears throat> so I got like four more follows since I streamed the last. Uh, it's been a week since I streamed the last time. Um, but somehow I got four follows in between that time. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> yeah, here calling... Censored early. <laughs> I don't know what was censored, but... Okay, so... Um, how do I say this? So basically, the reason I haven't been on for so long is... I did not have a very good stream on Friday. And, you know, normally, normally I would just shrug it off, but that particular stream was frustrating in a very bad way. So, um, I won't really go into it more than that. Oh, a prime sub for me. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, I didn't get a notification for it. What the hell? But you now have that icon. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? So, yeah, I had a pretty bad stream. Uh, I got... I, I guess I can talk about it a little bit. So I got ganked in Elite Dangerous. And, like, I lost six or seven hours worth of progress. And it kind of, like, set me off a little bit. Um, and that weekend, last weekend, was not great for me, uh, mentally. Like, you know, normally, this is like, I was like, oh, I got ganked. Well, that sh that sucks. But, like, having it happen on stream, I felt like an idiot. Um, and then I just kind of, like, spiraled, you know? <laughs> because, uh, I don't know if it's very much of a secret, but I'm not very emotionally, uh, resilient. Um, which is like, why the fuck am I streaming? But, um, most things I can shrug off, though, to be honest. But anyway, so I had a pretty bad stream. It spiraled into a thing, and I was just like, okay, I need a break. So I didn't make a schedule for the week, and just took some days off to, like, I guess, uh, what's the word? Refresh my, like, degauss my head. You know the buttons on the old CRT monitors where you, it's the degauss button and it does that little like ding to like reset all the magnetic polarity. Um, if a magnet's like fucked the screen up, you can hit that and uh, it'll like refresh the, the tube. So yeah, that's what I did with my brain. <laughs> so now, I, now I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, I actually went back into Elite, um, finished the expedition 
again. And I got some screenshots up on my Twitter, too, of that. So I finished the expedition again um, in solo play mode. <laughs> Recalibrating the cranium. Yeah, I did enough. Uh, I did enough calibrations to make Garrus proud. Um, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Right. So I even played Elite Dangerous again and also um, finished the expedition, got my data and my discoveries back. I, I even did a little more, but it was in solo play mode, so I wasn't going to get ganked. And I did this kind of off stream like earlier in the week. But get this. So I get back to Colonia in solo play. In the instant I get back there, I get interdicted again by an NPC right next to the sun. <laughs> and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? If I... Uh, so, so anyway, I was at the star and I got interdicted into it, so I stopped. But for some reason, the NPC never showed up, so I just jumped right out. Um, and then I went to the Colonia Council guys, sold all my data there, instantly became an ally, made 50 million, unlocked two engineers. <laughs> uh, that was what I missed the first time. Oh my god, what a stressful thing. But um, now... Since I have those engineers available to me in Colonia, which is... If you don't play Elite Dangerous, Colonia is a system basically across the galaxy that's become kind of a hub for humanity. Um, a second hub for humanity. Um, it's, it's quite active over there. Uh, in fact, if you play in open um, with other players, uh, there's gankers everywhere. And I learned that lesson the hard way. So I'm not going to make that mistake ever again. Uh, especially on stream. Holy shit. Now, if I learn how to gank the gankers, which apparently is quite easy um, from what I've heard, um, I will go do that. Because <laughs> I want to get revenge, damn it. Anyway, what was I saying? So, so yeah, um, I'm okay now. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I had a lot of good friends check up on me and, and you know, uh, treat me to a dinner and stuff like that. What are these L's? Why are you handing me these L's? Oh, they're guns. I th it, the, the emote looks like, it looks like someone handing you an L, and I'm like, are you, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Anywhere there's engineers, there's gankers. Yes, exactly. Um, but here's the thing, I play in open, or, well, I, I played in open all the time, and during the hours I usually play, like, I, I would go to Desiet all the time, where the, like, beginner engineer is, and I never even saw another human before, so I was very surprised to see someone, um, another commander in Colonia. Um, <laughs> but I was also playing a little bit earlier. Uh, since it was a stream. But yeah, I learned my lesson. Um, but, because I, I, you know, I'm just there for exploration. That's really all I do in Elite, is just explore. Um, I've made several hundred discoveries on that one trip. Um, new planets, new systems. Um, it was fun. And then I, I went to, oh, excuse me, instead of going to the, the top of the galaxy, or instead of going to the edge of the galaxy, I went to the top. So I basically went 3,000 light years above Colonia um, until I ran out of stars. And it was absolutely beautiful up there. And uh, I would recommend anyone make that trip. I have the system bookmarked. Um... I don't know if anyone's actively playing Elite in chat, but I can give you the system name. Uh, if I can remember it. I'll have to look up on my EDSM profile. Mm, yes. Um, but anyway, what was I saying? Um, so yeah, 
I'm all caught up, I guess, in Elite. And at this point, all that's left for me to do is go to Sagittarius A. That's actually my next, um, yeah. Uh, that's my next destination, Erica, is I'm going to Sagittarius. Um, and then from Sagittarius A, I will hit up Beagle Point and then go home, I guess. <laughs> Sega gives you nausea. Yeah, it's really bright. Like, I, I, okay, so there's another VTuber who plays Elite um, that isn't uh, Celine Star Dragon. <laughs> there's actually several now that I have met because of her, actually. Um, one of them is a guy named Puzzle Pulsar, and he's a space bunny, and he's adorable. Um, but he, he did a Sagittarius A trip, uh, and I was there with, with him when he hit the center, and it was really cool. Um... But yeah, I could see how it would give you nausea, especially like if you orbit the black hole. Um, but there's some there's some interesting um, there's some interesting carriers over there. There's a lot of carriers. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that trip. Should be really fun because uh, I've been to the outer edges of the galaxy like twice now. <laughs> but this will be my first time going to where every star is at the same time because everything is so close together over there. I've heard that when you get closer to the center uh, it takes longer to load because it's loading all the stars in the skybox. <laughs> but there's also so many more things in the way. Okay. You know, it's 3.16 in the morning. Who is streaming still? Oh. and eh, nobody would really want to raid today. Um... All right, I guess I'll just quit here because it's three three fifteen. I'd be too. T I'm too tired right now to chat with any other streamers. But yeah, I've met a couple good uh, good VTubers. Uh, one of them, the first first one I met was Celine Star Dragon. Um, she's like the big uh, partner. She's she's a partner on Twitch. She's a VTuber that mainly does Elite Dangerous and also like Star Citizen and stuff. Then I met um, well, they're not a v uh, VTuber, but uh, Phoenix Blue Zero. Is really nice, really nice person who did a lot of helping me out. Like they saw me, they, they saw me streaming and doing exploration stuff. I was doing the road to riches thing, and they're like, "Hey, you want help?" And I was like, "Oh, okay, sure." Me being like naive and not thinking about gankers or anything, but Blue ended up being a nice person, <laughs> and we just did exploration together, and it sped up the process like 200%. It was great. And then I met um, Arisu, Arisu Saros, who's another VTuber, um, and he plays Elite 2. And then now I've, now there's another VTuber, which is a friend of his, who I've met, Remnant1992, who actually just followed my channel six days ago, so thank you for that. But yeah, Remnant just unveiled like a VTuber model today, and I think it's an Aura from Final Fantasy XIV. Very cute. Like it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, sorry I had to itch my leg. Oh, jeez. Okay. But yeah, like, for some reason now, I know all these Elite Dangerous streamers just because the community is so... They're, they're all so friendly and tight-knit. It's kind of amazing. Um, anyway. Uh, what else do I... I don't know. I don't, I don't really have anything planned right now. Um, I don't have any news for you. I was <laughs> I was going to do other streams during the week because I was like maybe I'll do some unplanned streams. Then I never did uh, ex until now. But anyway, um, I don't have any personal plans yet. But I'll try to do another schedule. Let's see if I'll see if I can do another schedule uh, tomorrow. And also I was going to work on my model a little bit for for some special things. But anyway, tomorrow though, uh, I'm gonna be hanging out with Heather Bunsen. Let's see. Let me see if I can do a shout out thing. Oh yeah, she was playing Tunic. Um, so she's another VTuber that I've met through Twitch. Um, she just like randomly raided me one day because I had like low viewers. And uh, she was like, hey, 
<laughs> how you doing? I'm looking for VTubers that are, you know, because I, I think I had like just hit affiliate. I was still pretty new. Um, I was kind of cheating because I had already had like 40 some followers from 2013. <laughs> I don't know. Is that really cheating? Or am I just taking advantage of pre-existing conditions? Um, but anyway, she became she became a really fast friend. Um, I love her streams a lot. She's very cool. Uh, but she's doing a big 24-hour um, stream tomorrow. And uh, she's like, I need emergency mods here. <laughs> you get moderator. And I'm like, oh god, I have responsibilities now. So I'm going to be there tomorrow. Um, not sure when, but she's going to be starting at like... Uh, 12 Eastern, I think. So, probably... Like, six hours from now, I think? But yeah, she's gonna be doing all sorts of interesting things. Um... And she's just a fun streamer to hang around. She's, it's just a fun time. Um... So, yeah, go, go say hi to her tomorrow. Uh, for now, though, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> I should have gone to bed, like, two hours ago. <laughs> But I just had this, I just had this itch to like stream again, and I was starting to kind of feel bad because I was watching, um, I was watching Terminal earlier today, and I was like, and I was like, we were talking about streaming and schedules and stuff, and I was like, oh god, I haven't streamed in a week. What the hell? And I just felt like, you know, like God, I should get on. <laughs> what if I got on right after Terminal stopped? So, I did. Um, I thought it was a pretty good stream. Uh, so thank you all for the... Thank you, thank you to the handful of the, the few and the proud, the viewers of Kelly. <laughs> it's much appreciated. Oh boy. I'm starting to cough here. Jesus. I think it's my, uh, my allergies are acting up too. So I'm like sneezing, coughing, and bluff. It sucks. All right. Um, so I'll see you guys, if you want to show up at Heather's tomorrow, you know, completely optional, but I'll see you there tomorrow if you show up, and I'll see if I can stream on Sunday at some point, but, uh, I'll figure it out. I might, like, change up my schedule a little bit from the established one that I had before, but as always, uh, you know, my Twitter's down there in the description, you can go follow me there. Uh, or join the Discord. There's the link, Discord link down there. And I, you know, I'll announce stuff in both places. Blah, 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 blah. Here I am, ranting again. I just, I, I can't stop talking, you guys. It's, it's a disease. <laughs> I have some sort of disease. It's like, someone, okay. To get me to stop talking sometimes, someone has to be like, hey, Go to bed. <laughs> like, force me, force me, damn it. It's content, trademark. Like, I don't know. Suplex me onto the ground until I stop talking. Go to sleep or I will fight you. See, Erica, Erica figured it out. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll 1v1 you. Oh my god. Woo, woo, lad. Oh god, I haven't thought of that in a long time. Uh, I'm getting out of here. Um, again, though, thanks, uh, Erica and uh, Pixie, and who was here earlier? Terminal was here earlier, and uh, Tech, too. Uh, thanks, thank you all for showing up and chatting. I appreciate it. It's very late for all of you. What the hell are you doing up? It's very late for me now, too. Even. 324. Y'all on the East Coast are up at like 6 in the morning. What the fuck? Get out of here. Go to bed. Take care of yourself. Don't do what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Good night. Oh, that felt good, though. That was a good stream. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>